Hi, this is Greg from Greg's Bass Shed. In this video, I'm going to review my Spectre 5 string bass. Just yesterday, I was watching a video of NAM 2019, and I noticed that they're now offering Spectres with different options for pickups, um, including Bartolini's. Now, that's quite interesting to me because I put Bartolini's in this bass a few years ago because I never really liked um, the sound of the EMG pickups that the bass came with. So keep watching this video to hear how my bass sounds and I'll also give you my opinion about what I think of Spectre basses in general. Remember to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube as I've got more gear reviews and over 50 bass video lessons. So come and have a look around and you can also look at my website which is gregsbassshed.com. I've got my videos on there and I've got some more bass resources that you might be interested in. <laughs> This particular model is a Spectre NS5 Euro and it was made in 1999. It's flamed maple, which you can see here, and also it's got through neck, um, which I think really contributes to the massive sound of this bass. These particular Czech Spectre basses are known for their really good build quality and I've got to say that the craftsmanship on this bass is excellent. So as I said in the intro, I replaced the pickups with Bartolini's on here. Um, I always thought the EMGs, well I've never really had them, I always thought they sounded a bit aggressive and harsh. If that's the sound you're after then, the EMGs would be perfect for you, but I wanted something a little bit more versatile. And as I noticed from the NAM review, I think this is the direction that Spectre are going more with their basses, um, to get more of a versatile sound and not just get that one sound they were getting from the EMGs. So I'm really interested in how this change goes for Spectre and whether more people go for these different pickup options. I also replaced the preamp in this bass and it was made by a guy called Mikulak. Um, he's a Czech electronics builder. He builds for Spectre. Um, he makes the tone pump range. So he was the obvious choice really. So now the knobs are a volume control here. This is a blend for the pickups. Uh, and then we've got treble, and bass. So that's a bit different to the original setup I had on this bass. So I'm going to play the bass a bit for you with some different settings and some different grooves and bass lines so you can get an idea of what it sounds like.
So hopefully you can hear there how versatile this bass is, especially with the Bartolini's in here. I would say that it's more suited towards heavier kind of rock metal music, um, but it'd also be good for some heavy fusion, for example. Let me know what you think of the bass. If there are other Spectre owners out there, please let me know what configurations you've got in your basses, whether you've got different pickups, different preamps, uh, or the original setup. And anyone else who's thinking of getting a Spectre, um, what do you think of the bass? I'd be interested to hear. Remember to check out Greg's Bass Shed here on YouTube. Um, have a look at my other videos. I've got over 50 videos here. And also you can look at gregsbassshed.com. Now all the links are below in the description of here and also you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You'll find all the details in the description. So have a look there. This is Greg from Greg's Base Shed. See you on the next video. Mm -hmm.